Areas are still under threat this afternoon after dozens of storms caused problems in the south yesterday, especially in Mississippi and Alabama. David Begno spoke with one woman who survived the storm by clinging onto a tree. He reports from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. This is where I sit every day. Jennifer Patterson told our Birmingham affiliate CBS 42 that when she saw a storm coming toward her home, she ran into a ravine in the woods. I was down in there holding on and that little tree right there yonder is probably the one I was holding on to. She stayed on her phone with her son as the trees collapsed around her. He was hearing his mama scream. He was hearing the sound go off. And, uh, you know, I was just, all I could do was just say, Jesus, watch over me. Jesus, watch over me. And then it just like it just kept going and going and going. And finally, I just said, Jesus, take it away. And it's just like you could hear it easing up. She says she was worried she wasn't going to survive, and now she is picking up what's left of her property. There are others in similar situations, from homes in Alabama to farms in Mississippi. I just hear it. I hear the, the tornado is just coming, and oh my God, it was, it was horrible. And my baby, she's just crying and crying and crying. Sabrina Hargrove says she and her child sheltered in a bathtub with her boyfriend and put a mattress on top of them as what they believed was a tornado hit their home, blowing out the windows to the home and their vehicles. Blue, the dog, was outside when the tornado hit the home. So I get up, look out the back window, and he's out there just standing like nothing even happened. <laughs> at the nearby University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa, hundreds of students packed into campus buildings after they were forced to shelter in place. Across the region, you had schools, vaccination clinics, businesses, all shut down after people were warned. It's going to be a dangerous day. We'll end on the good news. No injuries and no deaths across the South. David Begno, CBS News, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. After 10 months of not being able to operate, you just uh, you can't survive. Coming up, a look at how the misfortune of some restaurants is keeping another industry afloat.